All right, guys. So in today's video, we go out fishing, and I have this underwater drone here. Let me show it to you. And it was actually pretty cool. We checked out some new spots, checked out an old spot, saw a bunch of hogfish, mangrove snapper, other stuff like that. So here's the remote for it. Then you attach your phone right there. Ooh, big boy right there. Yeah. And then here is the drone itself. There it is. It's a chasing M2 drone, M2 Pro, and it has a big cord on it. And there's the camera right there. And it was really fun to do. I'm gonna definitely go out there again. And let's show these clips with this drone. Make sure to stay tuned. And look, we just crossed over on the strike lines and boom, there's the ledge right there. There should be some good fish on that. We're gonna... All right, here we are anchored up on the strike lines chart out of St. Pete. And boom, that looks pretty good. We're gonna fish that, see if we can't get us some hogfish or whatever else. All right, now we're getting down on the chart. Let's see if we can't catch something. Reese is on. He's saying high potential. Yeah. It is a hog. First hog of the day. That's a keeper too. <laughs> All right, that was risky. Jared's net would have came in handy there. That's pretty impressive right there. First fish at first the fish on the strike spot. lines chart. Boom, instant hog. Come on. All right, guys. So here is the chasing drone. The chasing M2 Pro connected to the remote right now and the reel. I'm gonna let out a bunch of line, let this drone out. We're gonna get it down to the bottom. See what is lurking at this strike line spot. So there's a show right there. Uh-oh, Reese is on a go. On a shrimp? All right, so there's a drone in the water, the line, the remote. You can hear the drone making some noise. There's all that line. We're gonna get down to the bottom next. Now I am controlling the drone here and the first thing you see is a big shark. I think it's a sandbar shark or something like that. You can see him going around. And then the first fish that we see, check it out, a hogfish. Comes right up to the camera. There's some mango snapper. And if you look in the back, there's actually a bigger hog right here. See that one right there? There's another smaller hog. And this big hog is gonna do something very interesting. He's gonna go swim like 10, 15 feet off the bottom. As you see him going up, I don't know why he's doing that. There's that other hog. There's a trigger fish. And as you see, some of these fish are up above the bottom by a lot. Like that hog, he's like 15, 20 feet off the bottom, which is, I didn't know hogfish would do that. And it's pretty cool. Here's another little hog. There's other little reef fish, some scamp grouper. And right now we are actually on top of the ledge. So it looks like there's not a lot of structure, but as I'm working my drone towards the ledge, you'll see it in a second. There's gonna be some nice rocks. That's, that's what's holding all these fish here. So this is like the sea fans, the coral that these hogfish are hanging on. And then when we get near the ledge, you're gonna start seeing more and more hogfish, more reef fish. There's another little hog. There's just tons of hogfish here. This is probably 20 to 30 hogs we saw on just this one spot. First time ever being here. And it's pretty impressive. Check this out. There's some more mangrove snapper, a little grunt, or just not too many grunts off the ledge, but when we get near the ledge, you'll see a ton of them. Another hogfish, another grunt, mangoes. And here you see, this is the ledge. So it's a pretty nice piece of structure. I'm gonna turn the drone around here and the sandbar shark is actually gonna be like stalking the drone or maybe he saw the drone and just got spooked, but you'll see it in a second. He gets pretty scared from this thing. There's some reef fish. I don't know what kind those are. See all those grunts on the ledge. So that's what eats your shrimp a lot of the time. Little hog just spooked right there. And here's this sandbar shark in a second. I turn the drone around and boom, he's a big old dude stalking it. He gets pretty scared though, so he backs off. Hope 
Here's another hog right there. It's a, a good one. And there's that sandbar shark spooking off. He's pretty big. And these fish don't really seem that scared of it, which is impressive. There's another hog off the ledge. And check this out right here. There's a little gag grouper. Oh, well, he's probably a keeper, but he's very weary of the drone. I get a little close and he spooks right off. He did not like me getting close with a drone. Check that out. Here's a new ledge we just found on the strike lines. Looking good. Gonna get anchored up on it. Never been here before either. Priest got a big one on. Get him up. <laughs> what was on, shrimp? Reese had a jumbo shrimp on. I think that's one. This is on a brand new Strike Lines hard bottom HD chart. Reese, tell him how much he likes Strike Lines. Hey, it works. <laughs> if you ain't using Strike Lines, what you doing? You had a jumbo shrimp on. Let's see what this is. You know, this is a big old hog. Swimming like one. Current is cooking. Uh, it don't look like a hogfish color. That's hogfish. Mangus con? If it is a size large. Or it's a big hog. Big lane? Red snapper. It's a big mango! <laughs> That's a mango. That's a giant! <laughs> <laughs> that is a goozer mango right there. Jeez. Uh oh, I got a fish. That's a big boy. <laughs> Reese with a certified goozer mang. Boom, we got fat that. I know. Can we try to drop a big shrimp? Alright, now the GoPro has to go down. So this clip right here is actually from earlier in the day. This is the first time I ever dropped the drone, first time using it. Right when I dropped down, hogfish is right in front of the camera. He did not mind the drone. I think they're just really curious about it. Like, what is this thing down here? So he's just circling it, chilling. And I get a little too close for comfort for the hogfish. And he spooks off. But as you see, we're on top of the ledge. And you can see over that it drops down. So this is a nice ledge that we catch a lot of hogfish off. And right here, there's some grunts. A lot of grunts. Then as you see, there's a lot of sea fan and coral. There's a scamp. And here's a nice hog. He's around 17, 18 inches. And he's just slowly moving and chilling, keeping his eye on the drone. And you'll see him turn around. You can actually see his like little eye shift when he's watching it. And I get a little too close for comfort with him in a second. And he did not appreciate it. But that is a nice hog. Here's that sea fan and coral stuff. This is a good ledge. Now we are now I drop down below the ledge so you can see there's a lot of rock and other stuff. There's a scamp. Normally there should be some gags, but they're probably spooked off. And as you see, it's a nice little three to four foot drop, maybe even more. I can't really measure it, but it's a good, good size ledge. Here's another cog that you see chilling by that coral or sea plant stuff. He's just chilling inside of it, blending in so predators and sharks can't see him. Yeah, this is a good piece of structure right here. First potential hog of the day for me. Feels decent too. Let's see. No, it's a goozer mango. Really? I think this is a keeper one though. Yeah. There's a big mango. That's, a, nice That's a certified mango. We didn't see any of them down there. But good size. So with this drone, the nice thing is I can identify new pieces of bottom and mark them on my machine. So as you see, this is a different kind of bottom. It's not like a ledge. It's hard bottom, rocky bottom. Just little mixed hard bottom here. So as you see, a hogfish just ran through. There's some grunts. Mangrove snapper on this one. Another little hog. Just They really love the camera. They do not. They are not camera shy, that's for sure. 
And as you see, there's not like any big pieces of structure. I do find this little rock pile or coral head here. There's a yellow tail swimming right there, some mangrove snapper. There's a lionfish right there, which is pretty cool. In about 80 feet of water, there's a lionfish. There's a bunch of grunts and other life. As you see, there's tons of life on this spot, which is impressive. There's some more yellow tails swimming around. And here is a big mango that we saw. The mangoes, they don't mind the camera too much. They just don't like you, like you chasing them with it. But as you see, this would be another hogfish area. More mangrove snapper than hogs for sure. And here is the last spot of the day I recorded on the drone. The sun is going down here, so it is a little darker. But it was a little ledge here. It was on the strike lines chart, and I wanted to check it out. It didn't show too much on my Simrad, but my Garmin was showing a lot more stuff. So I was like, I might as well drop the drone down and see what's going on. I turned the flashlight on the drone on here. And it shows the color of the coral, and then I'll show you in a little bit. It will show the color of the red grouper, which is pretty cool. As you see, there's like a lot of nutrients in the water that the light is catching, so I turn it back off. And the fish didn't seem to like the light too much. But as you see, this ledge does not have as much like life, like the coral and the uh, sea plants around it. It's more sandy bottom around this ledge. And as you see right there, there's a little mangrove snapper crawling around, along the bottom. As you see, he's kind of like rubbing himself, probably it, getting an itch or something. I don't know what he's doing. And then here's a little red grouper that comes in the frame. And as you see, I thought he was a gag, but I turned the light on and boom, it shows his true colors that he's a red grouper. And there's a little piece of coral right there, but this is more, this ledge is actually a lot more south than the first areas we were fishing. So I don't know if maybe red tide went through here one year. And there's actually a hogfish there, which I didn't see the first time. But yeah, this, there's not a ton of life is just more rock at this spot which maybe did, some spots are just different which i'll have to find out when i drop the drone more hopefully y'all enjoyed today's video as it was really cool today using the underwater drone i'm definitely going to go out again soon and drop it down i just have to wait for it to be a calm day and for the water to hopefully be clear so it has to be calm for a few days before i go out and use the drone so all that sediment can settle from the wintertime storms and cold fronts all stuff like that but it was really cool using it. I did three hard bottom HD charts and then I did one previous spot that I normally catch a lot of hogfish off. So it was really cool identifying the different pieces of bottom. As you saw, we fished three different ledges and then the other one was like a hard bottom scattered rock. And then there's some lionfish on that spot. So definitely gonna have to go out more, check out different spots, see, compare the fish finder show to what it's actually looking like on the bottom. So then it'll be easier for you guys and me to identify bottom we see on the fish finder to what we see down below on the drone. It'll help us be able to identify what fish might be there, what type of structure it is. This will make everything easier. So make sure to stay tuned, hit that subscribe button down below, and I'll see y'all next time.